They say you can make diamonds in your backyard. Just toss graphite in a molten iron, quench it, splash some acid, and boom, instant riches. But could it actually work? Grant teamed up with a master smelter. He blasted graphite and iron to 25,500 degrees, cooled it, and dunked it in hydrochloric acid. The acid turned into pumpkin soup, but no diamonds. Kerry found a simpler recipe. Graphite plus 100 grams of peanut butter, one hour in the microwave, and supposedly diamonds. Reality check, she fried four microwaves before realizing she'd been scammed. Tori went more scientific. Graphite, ferric nitrate, and a tiny diamond seed inside a pressure cooker. 72 hours on the heat. Three days later, just useless residue. But then, an industry expert showed off a wild method. He packed graphite, cobalt, and secret chemicals into a metal cylinder, sealed it in a wooden barrel, and filled it with explosives. Detonation mimicked Earth's crushing core. When they cracked it open and cleaned the mess, real diamonds appeared. But only cheap industrial ones, not the sparkling kind you wear. So in the end, the myth was busted. Diamonds may be forever, but shortcuts aren't. Would you ever try making diamonds at home?